everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. 12 rounds of middleweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Ramos is making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. The hitman's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. at all times. Let's touch him up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Nice work! Nice work! shot by Ramos. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. defensive guard there. <laughs> Trying to time that straight left hand and he does so with ease. Final 10 seconds. Cut his movement off. Keep counter attacking, okay? When he throws, make him miss and counter. You're looking good. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. Listen, I want you to pick his jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab, hey, don't waste energy. But I want you to keep those hands moving. underway. The hitman's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. <laughs> 
Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice block that time. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. Ramos' trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Good defensive skill. Ramos' punch didn't come close. I see us. Let it go. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, what a hook upstairs. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You are going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick. And then get back into the flow. He missed with that headshot. Accurate with a straight left. Good biting, snapping shot by Ramos. Uppercut! Uppercut! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The hitman's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Ooh. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Ramos is thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way. Especially since... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Stay with me here. The hitman's left working well that time. Let it go. Last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round three. Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Focus now. Focus. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? We got Upstairs, it. downstairs, over again. Uh, all we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. He's given up two rounds on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round number four, but I think he's got a pretty bright future in this fight here, knowing that he's gotten to his man. Yeah, he knows it, and maybe more importantly, his opponent knows that he's been hurt. 
and I can see it already. It's making him a little bit more tentative, so it's making his job a little easier. Blocks that punch. You're doing great! Ramos is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Seems like he's clinching a little more. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, Teddy. So could this be a case of him trying to find a way to buy himself some time, of steadying himself a bit? Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. And his opponent has to take advantage. On the inside, rotate your shoulders back, create a little distance, a little room, and make sure you don't let him tie you up. Don't let him do what he wants to do. Halfway through round number four. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. There you go. The hitman's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. He just missed that shot up top. Nice. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by the hitman. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for aspects of life whatever they do you have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you and you got to put it on the side and say okay right now i'm not going to let that get in the way he's letting it get in the way well i don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher but i get the sense you'd agree with it yeah definitely i mean He's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. defending himself well. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by the hitman. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And he returns on that exchange. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. And he engages in the clinch. Nice block by Ramos. Ten clicks of the talk. And that's the end of round five. The hitman's looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all or do what you just said, think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Is it? You heard him. Keep on him. Nice. Excellent.
So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. by that oh he's in bad shape here he's stunned and he's wobbly the only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway and you can't use him right now he's a guy that likes to move his head he's got to start doing that try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement oh he is stunned he could go down he is stunned, but somehow has the wherewithal to hang on. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. The hitman's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Well-targeted left hand by Ramos. Keep moving! Keep moving! Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Wow, what an uppercut. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. The Hitman's coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight clearly has him out way in front on the scorecards. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys don't do good when they're way out in front because they start letting up a little bit. They start taking things for granted. That is probably the only thing that could be an enemy of him right now. Protecting his head well with his guard. The hitman's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Keep moving, keep moving. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. That's a plus shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. That hook was well off the mark. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Good work. Ramos is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. There you go. Let's come back. I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, bury it away. And you'll catch it.
Nice run. That was good. We have this one. Nice. Relax. As we start round number eight and we look at your scorecard, Teddy, it's easy to look at this fight and make a simple piece of analysis. Hey, one guy dominating the other. Much more complex than that. So many pieces of the puzzle had to be put in place in the eight weeks leading up to this fight to get this result at this point in the fight. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Make yourself. The hitman showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Great round now, back and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. So simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Left and right, left and right. And just grabbing on to his opponent. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole, and he filled that hole. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were Don't able to get to the other. Both men seemingly punch. hurt in that round. In the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours, but now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. All right, deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen. You, the you threw a white punch and it caught you. I know your punches, all right. The hitman's legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question. In the last round, he was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good shin all the time, being able to shake off a good blow, but this is part of having a good shin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. Relax, relax. Unable to make an impact there by the hitman. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Ramos is in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from Keep what moving. I've seen, to Keep paint moving. my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said, and it's just... It's not, it's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Take it off. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Nice work by Ramos. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs, stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Solid hook upstairs. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine.
What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision, where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter hook. And now they start round number 10. Not able to land the headshot. I see it. I like what I see in there. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. The hitman's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Off target with that hook. Uppercut! Halfway through round 10. Finish with a hook! Precision work with the left hand by the hitman. Watch the hook! Ramos has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Come on, keep focused! Keep moving, keep moving! And he just holds on there. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Face yourself. Body shot. Body shot. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Good smooth work by the hitman. That's classic counter punch. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. And then we need to knock We got it. You don't knock him out, we go home with you. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Start of round number 11. The hitman's up on Teddy's scorecard. Just six minutes to go in this fight, Teddy. I assume at this point, just take some good advice from your corner and secure this win. Yeah, you have the winning lottery ticket in your head. Don't throw it in the garbage. He got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Able to get rid of that one. Yourself. That's a good block by the hitman. Halfway through this 11th round. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by the hitman. Ramos is not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding them, he's giving them angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance, and right now he's just not thinking right. Ramos's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Work the body! Whew. 
Missed the body shot. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But, Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? Final round. Good way to protect the midsection. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Nope, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's Working hugging. Now his opponent got him. Oh! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. Ramos is going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Well off the mark by the hitman. Relax, relax. Keep moving. Keep Keep moving. How about that exchange? Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. A well-deserved win by the hitman. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You can have your eyes closed and see that one, or almost closed. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.